that pretty much covers all of our corn maze stuff. Darren, did you have a good time with the corn maze? It was good. Sure. What are you chiming Ooh. in over there? This is the time in the cast where we have field questions from our viewers, our many, many them. fans who write in constantly. I just sifted through some of them and came up with these. I think we're going to have Mackenzie help us with this part. Oh, okay. Looks like they're all for me again. Um, but Darren, feel free to chime in <laughs> if you want to. This one's from Alicia Johnson. How did you guys get started doing restorations? And also, how did you go from restorations to resurrections? Darren, go ahead. You're good with words. How did we get started in restorations? Well, Mark and I have both been Mopar people. It's kind of not a good thing. How did we get started in restorations? Go ahead, Darren. Well, Mark's had a body shop for how many years, Mark? 28 years. 28 years, and he's had a love for Mopar, so that was just what he naturally would do. He'd restore old Mopars. And I've been a Mopar person since I was young also. When I was in school, I used to steal the hot rod magazines out of the library so I could look at the cars in them. But anyway. So he's got a hand of body shop. That's how he got started, basically. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you actually want the right answer for that. Uh, I started restoring Chrysler muscle cars around 1982, 83, in that area. Uh, they st actually needed it even back then. Uh, the very first car I restored was a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner 383 four-speed EV2 Hemi orange car. Uh, it was an N96. What's an N96? Air grabber hood. Oh, my guy's doing his fresh air tonight. hood. What? Gives it fresh air. It's air grabber. It gives it fresh air though. Yeah, it's fresh air. It's in a, can you do something about him? Yes. Um, this question's from Tara. Was that Warman? Uh, it's a Warman. That's Warman. my last name. Yeah, it's my sister. Oh, okay. What is worth more, a 1970 R Code Street Hemi 426 with the Torque Flight Automatic or the four speed manual? Very good question, Tara. Darren? I believe the four speed is more desirable. More desirable made is, less it up it <laughs> is it debibable? Is it Somebody make a note that it's debibable. I forgot to take a pacifier <laughs> out of my hey, mouth. Can you say debibable? Debibable? There you go. Hey, look at that. Side Let's just take a look and see I if it's more debibable. Okay, the question is, I believe the four-speed manual car I believe is it was in my book I made notice, note of because that. Because they made less of them, and it's more desirable. It's worth more money. Four speed so you're saying that because they made less four-speeds than they did automatics, it makes them more desirable? In that case, I believe so, yes. Plus, it's more desirable, more fun, more everything. Okay. Well, I did a little... People like me could drive four-speed. Have you read my book? People like you could drive automatics. Have you read my book? You have a book? I have a book. I think it's just what does that look like I a just book? think it's kind of something a cover you put on the book. You're a fool. Why don't you take the cover off the book? In 1970, <laughs> the Dodge Challenger with a 426 Hemi, they made 150 automatics and 137 manual transmissions. The Cuda in 1970 with a 426 Hemi, they made 368 automatics and only 284 manual transmissions. Yeah, that's However, oh, is that what you said? Because, because you said they made less. Speeds. Okay, well, keep in here. Well, it's because two. the night. Okay, well, here's a curveball for you. What? In 1970, the Plymouth Roadrunner in a two-door hardtop, they made 30 automatics and 44 manuals. Nobody cares about a Roadrunner in 70. Everybody cares about it. You know, they made cars besides Cudas and Challengers. Darren's what we call not a real Mopar guy. He likes Cudas and Challengers and Camaros. <laughs> Whatever. Do we have more questions here? Um, yeah. Is that mm -hmm. Gizzo? Oh, yeah, that's a freaky name. Let's... Gizzo, Gizzo. Who would name their kid Gizzo? <laughs> what is that? Oh, yeah. You like that look? That's that all-important, kind of like you can't see it, but you can. i got a friend that does that at a menu in a restaurant. What is that? There's people around. I won't make that face in public again. Gazelle. Gazelle? Gazelle. Is that, is that a girl or a boy? Gazelle, Gazelle is a girl. Okay. And yeah. actually, she's a very good fan, and she's a dear friend of our public relations manager who took the time out of her busy day to get insulted here on our Cryptcast. So thank you, Gazelle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go so ahead and read her question. This question is from Gazelle Fuller. Um, can we please get baby apparel? Your biggest fan is the bite size. Nice. Aw, that's cute. Darren, are we going to be able to buy, are we going into that lineup? Do you I know? I believe that would be good. Graveyard kids. I think that would be great. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a really good idea, and I think we will go in. Why are you shaking your head? You're nobody. Start selling them at the yes, we are everything. going into, um, we are going to get a, a child and baby lineup. What do they wear? Like baby one or something? Is a, What's the alpha code for a baby? Infant. Uh, infant? Infant? Yeah. Yeah. 
Why is your left eye going shut like a serial killer? Every serial killer's picture after they're arrested, <laughs> their left eye is half shut. The right one's beautiful, nice, big, full, round eye. I'm scared. Left one's you put gun on many, many times, I suppose. Just, just look like this, real time. I can hardly see that scar on your nose. So is that trying to catch me on that question? Then? <laughs> just making sure you're paying attention okay. to this. Beautiful child comes in on her busy day. She has stuff. She has kids. She has Twitter. I don't have kids. Do. You don't have any kids. No. Well, I say you had kids. I say you had kids. Yeah, yeah, you did. I had a lot of caffeine today. Yeah. I don't know if everybody got an opportunity to see my book here what, what today. Did you cover off. I'm gonna zoom in on that. It's probably Alice in Wonderland. It's one of my yeah. It's <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was him. What'd you say? It's all him. I'll take the blame. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. You got a good close up on that. Okay. <laughs> Here is one of my more popular press photos that I took during a shoot. Mark, we wish you would wear a mask. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Halloween's over. Yeah, oh, right. what? <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Mark, if we're getting a bad connection, I'm sorry, Mackenzie. <laughs> Looks like time for you is about up. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, this was really great. great. <laughs> this happens to be a condition. What okay. condition? Greed. Greed. It doesn't oh. matter the condition. Okay, uh, what do we have left in our Crypt cast here before we sign off from the GYC parlor? Oh, I know. A sing song. Oh, geez. I want to do a sing song. Wow. Can we do a sing song? What song? Um, Kermit the Frog's nephew. What's his, do you know Kermit the Frog's nephew's name? I don't. <clears throat> Halfway up the stair is the stair where I sit. Darren, take it. I don't know the song. Da it's not in there. Glad I don't. <laughs> hey. There's no other stair. That's the Beatles. I know, but there's no thing. other stair quite like it. Here's the hook, though. Here's the caveat. It's not at the bottom. Is it? Nope. <laughs> it's not at the top. Is it? Nope. <laughs> the stair in the middle. Is where I always stop. <laughs> Kermit's nephew. He's got a name. Don't know what it is. What? Darren, you want to tell everybody about your face? Which side? No. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good singer. Can you say? Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. Besides the high pitches, and but you did good. Oh, you did good. oh I'm you sorry, did good. Simon Cowell. I didn't realize that you were pretty. <laughs> Was there something? Did we talk about the fat girl at the maze? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. It sounded like there was something else. You guys see my book yet? Did you see it? You should have seen it. Did you see my book yet? That was in our Halloween jokes cracked in. Yeah. No, it's not so much in. I want to let's just give see the what book it said. Give it back. Get the book. Grab the book, please. No. What is that? Why is you? Or you want to read part of it? Just the book. Give me the book. <laughs> it all started when I was a young boy <laughs> when my cousin <laughs> came over to the house. You can't mention. <laughs> give me the book. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> said problems deeper hey, than the, deeper than the ocean. Hey, this is everything from the GYC <laughs> parlor. Thank you for joining us. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cut this a little short. We ran out of time. Mackenzie, thank you, darling. You're welcome back anytime. We will have you back quite frequently. I'm earlier than you. See that picture of me on the back, though? It's wonderful. If you had to guess, if you didn't know, honestly, if you didn't know and you had to guess, how old do you think <coughs> I am in that picture? The truth. No, be truthful. Be honest. If you couldn't, let me get some light on. There you go. I look better with a little light. <laughs> If you had to get, I mean, you don't know. You know, Poppy's 100. <laughs> Your mom's 29. Your mom's 29. So nice. 29. I, I, I know all the good stuff to say. Um, girls, let's see. see. I mean, I'm probably her age-ish. I mean, I don't want, what's with the <laughs> eyebrows? <laughs> no, really. Why do your eyebrows go is, high? Is that a gray hair? It is a gray oh, hair, but I color yeah. it gray so people take me more seriously. Oh, okay. Um, Shoot a number, any no, number truth, between 30 and 35. 30 <laughs> Sorry. 40. More honest, more truthful. We got two minutes to wrap up. Thank you very much for telling the truth. Yeah. And thank you for tolerating Darren. And you're welcome for hanging out with me. Tell all your friends you hung out with the coolest dude on the Cryptcast yeah. ever. Thank you, me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's talking about me. <laughs> like I said about the medication. <laughs> we're out. Thank you. We're glad. Woo. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs>